you know, where are there, are there links, are there resources where, you know, people can go and read and say, ooh, you know, like that question, but I mean, that gave you a response. So now not only did you know that, you anticipated it and you were ready to overcome it, regardless of mm -hmm. knowing that that person was likely going to have that, pro but that bias and ask you that dumb question, um, yeah. you, you defeated it. So are, how can other people get these cheat codes? Yeah, so um, Female Founder Collective, you apply on their website. I was lucky that I was kind of one of the earlier members, and but they, it's really, really inclusive and great, and they have just like so many different resources. I've been to an in-person workshop, things like that. They have a ton of events. Um, everyone's willing to help each other, so I think the Female Founder Collective is one of the greatest things ever. Um, additionally, um, this is obviously more exclusive. It's an application process, whatever, but any social impact founders that I believe they coined the term, you know, at the tipping point in your company. Um, I think that Vital Voices, the incubator they do, the leadership incubator they do with Tresemme is, has been so valuable to me this past year. So I think that both of those are incredibly helpful um, for UNC students. I did the Adams Apprenticeship, which I thought was really helpful. I still am really good friends with a bunch of people from my cohort, things like that. But I think, you know, in terms of, I mean, there's Facebook groups, you can join Facebook groups like Create and Cultivate and, you know, Girls Who Code and all these other things. You know, there's, there's tons of different ones. There's tons of different STEM groups, women in STEM, things like that. But I think that you know, it's also important to make sure you're part of co-ed groups and, um, you know, even if you're the first girl in it, whatever it might be. But I think that um, Female Founder Collective has really, really been, obviously it's just for founders. So um, you do have to have a company or a business or something um, to get into that. But I would say that's probably been the most valuable to me.